one fight, one struggle, animal liberation. Earth, one right for any human being. Humans, you being not better than other living beings because you being black, because you being white, because you being human, because you walk on two legs, because you can make machines. Other animal species have qualities that you don't have. They can locate when they become one earthquake. They can smell uh, bombs on the ground. They can see, for example, the part of dolphins. They can see if somebody drowned by um, the water flow with coming in their lungs. That you can don't uh, can uh, fool one uh, dolphin in that you do if you drop drown. They, they can see that. So, why do you think that you be so special, so holy, so more important? Is it not the same thing that the white supremacists do to the black people? To the Asian people, um, arbitrary criteria, believing that they're being more superior, being more holy, being more perfect, being more willing to life, being more sacred. That part is unforgivable. This foolish. And this outdated. In 2012, one group of neuroscientists have proved that the human conscious and animal conscious being practically the same. So, if you want to then say, because some animals being less smart than other animals, uh, you can give some animals rights. For example, Coco. There's one gorilla in um, America that have an IQ of 90. So there's actually, according to another link in the description below, the same IQ that the, that the majority of America humans have. So they deserve the same rights, therefore, humans have not, if you go to that criteria, uh, to r cut the rainforest to where we were orangs and gorillas and that kind of monkeys live. And now if we go a little bit further, and we say that pigs, for example, pigs have the intelligence of um, a child of um, nine to uh, six, six to nine. So humans that have, when they're being adults, an IQ of 16 and 9, deserve not the same rights as people that have been higher in their intelligence. If you use the same kind of logic, then you have the right to kill humans with weak intelligence. If you use the same kind of logic that you use. Using the same kind of logic, you have also the right to um, kill infants. It's something that I don't understand. People that want to fight for the rights of infants, but not want to fight for the rights of animals, and don't think even about that. Because that's, that's extremely kind of discrimination. Give rights to an infant, how being by long or not so sensitive and intelligent as one adult cat or dog or other animal. And on top of that, because we have an over overpopulation of humans, in particular uh, carnished humans, to allow them to breed. There's a reason that I, at this moment, be not 
actually against abortion because there being too much humans and humans they're appropriate like rabbits. Take a vasectomy. What's, the, what's so hard about that? That's one of the things that I, I mean, a Korean would do a reader. Because think about it, we have already 7.5 billion humans on this planet. There are only seconds until they start from starvation. For poor countries, because humans in the Western world eat animal corpses and things that come out of these animals. And humans still think they have the right to procreate? This your, is your privileges, this is not your rights. Humans like to believe that it is their rights. Just like slave masters, they want to believe that it's a right, it was the right to rape their slaves. Just like slave masters think that, like to think that it was their right to imprison blacks and view them like commodities. Just like many slaves have heard from a master from a young age that there be nothing more than a cow. And us, only there for the service of the slave master. Same thing humans say to stay still with other animals. That kind of irrational, selfish, arrogant, condemned delusion matrix of humans something that I don't can understand I sincere don't can understand why humans always be so so hateful to other living beings that have nothing harm to them actually but they have a pig, one chicken, one turkey ever done in your whole life to deserve to be turned in an inanimate object which kind of insane sociopath wants to protect a child molester which kind of insane moral wants to protect one victimizer instead of the victim pigs, chickens, turkeys they have harmed nobody uh, cows also they have harmed nobody humans being the ones that harm them why not stop with consuming animal products and things that come out of these animals like titty depression milk egg chicken periods a step in the far one century and oppose discrimination and hatred by its root, by speciesism. I proclaim there is no racist vegan. I also say that being racist in the plant-based movement. Because plant-based and vegan is not the same. Plant-based is a diet. Veganism is an ethical lifestyle. Veganism ignites the intrinsic legitimacy of all life. It is not more acceptable to cr kill creatures with a primitive nervous system than those with a highly evolved nervous system. The secret of life to its processor is the same, no matter if it be a cow, a chicken, a crocodile, or a child. There's one part that most uh, not talk about. Most I uh, want that uh, veganism being uh, actually because they play politician games. They are used the part of the politician uh, actually veganism um, try to limit the 
consumption of animal products as much as that's practical. But this, that is what the politician claim. That's the part of the definition of veganism that the politicians use. I used to want to be an ex-leader. Let me be clear. No human being has in this time to eat animal products. And if you don't say, the people in the Arctic, their people don't have to live there. They can live in the States. They can live in the civilizations. And they don't can, they may not evolve to live there. I can simply explain it to you. If you have an open mind. These persons cannot kill one animal without a weapon. There are not one fairy body. They also get osteoporosis. They get ha have one of the highest rates of osteoporosis on the planet, both fractures and cancers. The general age that an Eskimo will die is around 40. So don't claim that they're being very healthy. If we can put a man on the moon, then absolute surety we can feed the whole world on a plant-based diet. We can even feed with all the greens, all the metals, all the glucose on the planet. Feed something like 800 billion humans. There'll be only around something like Seven and a half billion years on the planet. So do the map. How much ground we can give back to the earth? How much species don't have to be extinct if we eat plants directly? We can only feed on this planet uh, something like so, um, two hundred thousand, uh, two billion humans on this planet on a meat dairy neck eating addicts diet. So, think for one moment, not about yourself, but think for one moment about the victims who have been innocent. How hard nobody ever in their whole life and go uh, vegan. What's the excuse for costing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Always being vegan. Animal agriculture is the biggest cost of human and animal abuse. Animals being not on this planet for food, clothing or entertainment. Just like women be not on this planet for rape toys, for entertainment, or exploitation. Just like blacks be not here on the planet to be raped, executed, used for battles, and being only there for the service of the white man. It is time to give up all the barbarity. And extend right to all innocent living beings. Instead, that you choose and pick which kind of discrimination you like or not. That's pure evil. The second, this kind of discrimination I, li I don't like, racism. And this kind of discrimination I like, speciesism. That's pure evil and psychopathic. All well, things. Is just sorry that I've said it to you a choice, and therefore you have to have not the right to complain 
about when somebody say that you do something wrong. Spectacular if it being justifiable. Kindness is a choice. So it's fine. 100% All animals can be friendly or not Just like humans They being just like us Some be smart, some be stupid So If it been okay To Choose discrimination between species. Then it can be for others, okay. To choose discriminate between humans. And say that some humans be more important and deserve more protection than others. That's how that's the reason why speciesism and human supremacism be the first form of discrimination. Imagine about a bash in this, a whole world, where all living beings deserve their equal rights, all creatures being equal and deserve to be treated fairly and with respect. What if a cow, a chicken, a turkey, a pig, or a horse ever done to deserve eternal damnation? Absolutely nothing. They are being innocent. They don't deserve to be tormented with whips, with, with in the case of horses, with um, spores in their uh, land room, in their body, to force them to perform because humans want it. It is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs and your habits, to deny other animals their freedom so that you can harm them, slave them, turn them into commodities and entertainment. That's not what rights are about. Take somebody else's life the way they will be free. Mark their entire existence. Then there's no excuse for feelings. Accept it. Make a plea and move forwards. And watch any situation from the position of the victims. You don't think that the whole world, that humans became special? And humans have to only protect it. That's the reason that we have all the problems on this planet. It's because that one group of humans think without reason and without logic and without reason, without uh, complex logic, with all without firewall logic, that they're being better than another group. Yes, moral positions make you better than another group. 